Justin Fields left today's Bears Vikings game with what looks to be a right hand injury and in this video we will take a closer look at what might have happened to the Chicago Bears starting quarterback. We will compare the available replay and align it with the relevant anatomy so that it is easier to understand. Welcome back. My name is Dr. Stephen Wilson and this channel is designed for the edutainment of sports injuries. When we look at the replay here, we see Justin Fields moving to his left and is then tackled from behind around his legs by number 99 of the Minnesota Vikings. Fields' knees hit the ground first and this is what then allows him time to get rid of the football and then put his hands down to lessen his impact onto the ground. I would assume that it is at this point when Fields' injury occurs to his right wrist or hand. Essentially, what has happened here is that Fields fell onto basically what is his outstretched hand. A fall onto an outstretched hand is very common, so much so that there's an acronym for it called a FUCH, which of course stands for a fall onto an outstretched hand. It is a common occurrence even outside of the sports world, and the resulting injuries are also common. The first thing to be concerned with is a very common type of fracture called a Collie's fracture. This is when the distal end of the forearm bone, called the radius, makes contact with the ground and the smooth cortical bone is then disrupted. This can also be associated with what is called an ulnar styloid avulsion fracture, which is what happens when the soft tissue around the end of the other forearm bone actually tears away from the bone and takes a little bit of the bone with it. Another common bone that can be fractured with a Fouche injury is called the scaphoid. A scaphoid fracture is also very common but it can present with a more challenging recovery due to the complicated blood flow to the area. When talking about a fracture, we can also consider moving up the kinetic chain to the elbow, the shoulder, and even the clavicle as these bones are also vulnerable to significant force when a Fouche injury occurs. Inevitably, a soft tissue injury such as a wrist sprain is also highly likely whether or not there is even a fracture. The ligaments and soft connective tissue between the carpal bones, metacarpal bones, forearm bones will likely be involved. It's just a matter as to what extent. The one good thing that Justin Fields has going for him is that his fall onto his outstretched right hand did occur on the turf which is somewhat softer. If a fall like this happens on concrete or cement, the likelihood of a severe injury is much greater. But at the same time, Justin Fields is right-handed and this will be a big problem because it, it is his throwing hand. Thank you for watching and please give us a thumbs up or consider subscribing in order to support the channel. When updates are available, I'll be sure to post them in the description.